is done. We're gonna watch that. Let's do that actually right now. Head over to this. Uh, how's it going, everybody? So, what a game. <laughs> what? Uh, while I get that ready, you want to talk about uh, how it went for that? Yeah, I don't. I, I think we say this every single time, but I, I could have never expected that uh, people would push it as far as they did. Um, Daffodil did a ton of work to optimize. Uh, well, uh, okay, so Gaffodil did a complete breakdown on all of the frame data and, and info about the game. Uh, they have like a whole GitHub repository that just has info about how the game works to break it down. Um, and between Fiona, Gaffodil, uh, I know a lot of people put a lot of work into getting this this run really optimized. Um, I think the obviously the the Turbo did a huge job. Um, at, at making the run better and faster, but um, I think it's for the best. I think I think the turbo was a good choice in the end. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I was uh, remotely listening to you as I had to switch my hat. That's my my rules. All right, so I don't have audio here, but um, you're just missing the Gremlins two song for the Office. Uh, it turns out that's what the main theme of this battle music is remixed from. Um, I had listened to the entire Gremlins two OST after I found that out. It's pretty good. Uh, I think the song in the it's game tough. is better though. It's pretty banging. It's it's definitely tuned up. It's not the same exact song. It's way faster in Banana Nababa, but it's a good song. Um, so, things. so some people were able to set their turbo um, up a lot. I used Anti Micro to set it, and I could set it as high as I think either sixty or a hundred button presses per second. Um, I think there is a limit, if I'm not mistaken. Like there's there's a maximum amount, but even then, uh, or a, a maximum amount that the game will support. But honestly, um, if you can get it fast enough, it, you still can win most damage races. Uh, I think what this game really came down to was the randomness, um, or maybe not randomness, but uh, getting your cycles to line up with the um, with the gatekeeper boss, which is this one we're seeing right now and also um, getting good patterns on the Slithworm, which was the boss we just saw. Um, getting world record at this point was really more about uh, Gatekeeper going well and Slithworm going going well. I was excited to see the... I, I didn't expect this to be the game that caused it, but I was excited to see we finally got a game to where seconds matter. We're, we're at the point mm -hmm. where milliseconds matter now. Uh, yeah. This was extremely, I mean, when you're down to less than three minutes, everything happens, matters, every single thing. And the boss being RNG, this guy here, I'm pretty sure the numbers I read was like, he's got a 25% chance to do one, two, three different lightning attacks, and then a 12% chance to do the other two. And they right. make a big difference on your survivability. If he does the wrong thing, you might die to him. But when a run takes two and a half minutes, maybe not too bad of a loss. <laughs> but, right. Really cool, really nice run. I'm really glad to see that I owe Gaffodil a prize. Congratulations, and we have a new game for you. Ready yeah. to announce that one? Let's yeah, I it. think so. We're going to roll over to it, folks. Let's, uh, let's go on in. One second. There they are. You might not have heard of these characters. That's Popeye. Mickey has taken a trip to Tokyo, but when he arrives he finds out from many that his friends have been kidnapped and Park is hijacked by none other than Pete. I hate that dude. I'm just gonna read you some Mickey Mouse facts. He's created as a replacement for Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Mickey Rooney claimed to be the mouse namesake. But it was debunked by a Disney historians. That's a career. It's a real career. Mouse fella. He's made him a lot of money. Uh, Mortimer Mouse was his original name. His wife told him that was stupid. But he used it anyway for a character later. Uh, Mickey's nemesis is Mortimer Mouse now. Real good. Real good name. Thanks. He has a Hollywood Square. Uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame. He's like he's got a star next to Alvin Chipmunks, Woody Woodpecker, and all those other great characters. Steamboat Willie kind of sucks. That's my facts. These are all completely real, completely normal facts. Yeah. Uh, so we have um, no known world record for this game, right? Yeah, I looked around for one. There's a um, a task for it that's about 20 minutes long. 
but I could not find an existing um, real-time speedrun. That is not to say that there is no real-time speedrun, and in fact, if anyone knows of one, we'd be really thrilled to hear about it. Um, but I could not find one. I found the task is 20 minutes and 35 seconds. That's one thing I did find. And that's pretty damn fast. You're not going to beat the task, obviously, unless you find new tech. But um, 20 minutes. So I'm expecting... when I watch the ta when I watch the task for this game, this looked like the kind of game that speed bump people will do really well with, um, because the main tech in this game, as far as speed is concerned, is consistently blowing up the helium balloons and then using it to jet in different directions. But it's all about knowing exactly where to use it, what angles to take. Like this is going to be, I think, a good one. Uh, you gonna be playing? You wanna put it up? Yeah, I okay. think I've got it up on uh, on our Pit One. One second. Let me let me switch over to that. First of all, I know why I don't have it. It's because I'm a dope. <laughs> hold, on, so hold on a second. I'll get it. Uh, yeah, so this, this is. I had never played it previously. I, I've had this one on my list for a really long time as a game to speedrun. Um, I'm kind of interested to see if people find strats are a little easier. I kind of messed around with it a little bit earlier today. Um, it, it's very tough to be as good at this game as the TAS is, that's for sure. Are you prepared? Uh, I'm prepared to play it for some amount of time. Yeah, we'll see how far I get. I, I actually don't know a lot about this game, so this will be mostly blind. I've, I've thumbed through the tasks, and it looks really cool, uh, but I know very little about it, so. I've got audio. I'm good to go. Whenever you're ready, I'll All start right. a clock for you, too. All right. A clock of sorts. So, um, actually, let me hard reset um, before I do that. I, I don't know if you started the clock yet, but I actually want to look at options and see what difficulty settings there are, because um, that probably matters. Yeah. It took us a while to decide on Turbo last time. Yeah, so this one has um, an easy, normal, hard. The default mode is normal. Um, I'm okay with leaving it at the default, but... Um, I always want to say that we need to find out exactly what the difference is between those before we change it. If you yeah, I'll try play it normal. on normal right now. Uh, we'll let you know what we decide. Um, mm -hmm. It might be just helpful to play at the same difficulty that the task plays it, so we may want to look into what they do. Yeah, the only things I can tell you for sure uh, in our intro video here that's just going to be ironed out is what the prize is going to be and when it's going to end. And I'm going to type those numbers in while he's running here. It's going to end in four weeks. And the prize is going to be $50 for number one, um, 20 for number two, and 10 for number three. Uh, so you can throw water balloons and you can blow them up to be bigger. Um, you can blow up a big water balloon and place it on the ground and you can use it like a trampoline. Um, you can throw small uh, gas balloons, and you can blow those up bigger if you want to. I mentioned they do more damage if you blow them up larger. Uh, but the real speed tech for this is if you blow up a balloon big enough, um, you can then use it to launch yourself. You hold it for a second, and when you let go, it launches you. And it seems like there's a lot you can really do with that, so... We'll get this guy. Hey, I got comments on uh, on speedbump.run. That's rare. Let's check these out. Talk with web visitor spam. Heck. All right, I'm I'm making this post. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, people were saying that um, the only difficulty change is health. Uh, in which case, it wouldn't matter what you pick in difficulty, uh, really. Right. Unless easy lets you boost more. So maybe we should do easy just for that. Does anyone know what difficulty the TAS uses? That would be... I mean, if the TAS uses easy to do more damage boost... I mean, if it's really just health, I'm fine with doing easy. I think that's a great idea. Uh, easy sounds good to me. I like to see more people compete. I think when it's easier, more people tend to want to join in. Uh, you can knock out a run now. Uh, and I am giving prizes. I, I didn't last week, or because Banana and Baba is such a simple indie game and we're only doing two weeks. First place got 50 for that. But now, top three. You don't have to have the world record. You can be in the top three to get a prize. And it's free to compete. Just jump on in. Run a Mickey game. What do you think about this dude? 
It seems like there's a lot of really interesting text. So things that I noticed from the watching the tasks that I feel like it's worth mentioning while I'm playing it here is that um, if you use your balloon and you sort of skid across the ground, you can actually um, chain that, like you or you can um, use that momentum. So like if I go horizontally, I can jump when I hit the ground and maintain some of that speed, which I think is pretty cool. I this game just balloon. looks really cool. The balloon was definitely selling me. Um, July 5th is when our challenge wraps up here. Actually, July 4th. Yeah. Saturday, July 4th at midnight, that's when we're done. Let me set that clock up. I'm really interested in seeing if uh, people really take to this, because I think I think it's a really cool game. What is the green bar even? I don't know. Updating the website's a complicated procedure. Working on it. Okay, I think the timer is in there now. Yeah, there it is. Three, three weeks, six days, three hours, and ten minutes. Go. <laughs> Uh, so on easy mode, I think I think you just do it in easy mode. It's very likely I think that health is gonna Help you damage boost somewhere, but even if it's not Just have an easier time Nice easy platformer of sorts I've, I've always felt like Disney games um, the, the gameplay isn't always there, but they have really good animations and they're always <clears throat> fun to play Often some of them are really hard like um Magic Kingdom on the NES is brutal. I don't think this one is. Yeah, I think this one's definitely easier than Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. This one seems like it's um, a step above uh, Magical Quest Star and Mickey Mouse, at least. I also wonder what these gold Mickey Mouse um, heads that I'm collecting are. Oh, that's information I can try and get for you here. I'm almost done with the website stuff, and then I'll find that. I'm gonna make a post uh, with the rules after we I have decided things. So, if you're wondering if uh, anything changes, the way to check is speedbump.run. I will always make a post if we decide on something like like Turbo. Um, I will always make a post about that if something like that changes. And um, also, the Discord certainly is the best place for immediate information. We will definitely be talking about the game in there. All right. Okay, so now that I'm not trying to go so fast, this game's not quite as challenging. I, I think this is a little easier. It seems like the sort of game that's probably really hard blind if you're trying to go too fast, but... I wonder if that's useful at some point. Um, going fast often makes things, uh, even the easiest games, get really hard when you start speeding running them. I feel, anyway. When you're really trying to optimize something, it suddenly is just brutal. Let me get the official name of this. This is the Japanese version, right? So it's, um... Yeah, it's Mickey no Tokyo do uh, Disneyland Daiboken. Which is Mickey's Disneyland Adventure in Japanese. That's right, I do speak fluent Japanese as long <laughs> as it's the ten words I know. Please don't check that. Okay, website is ready to go. Looks good. I'm gonna get some information from you. Um, if no one else provided it. Let me see and catch up on the chat here. NES Magical Kingdom is awful. I agree. Uh, I grew up with it, so I, I pretend that it's not 
but I, I made challenges for it so I know it is. I know exactly how bad it is. Okay, there's one FAQ. I'm gonna find out some information for you. Easy is eight hits, normal's five, hard is three, hard is terrible. Uh, is there any information about pickups? It's not really. It's passwords. That's cool. Uh, so there's six, three. Uh, there's three levels in each world, and there's six worlds, so you're looking at 18 stages to go. Pretty simple passwords, so you can really easily practice anything, uh, even if you don't want to make states, if you want to play it on hardware or whatever. No problem. And also that means uh, your run won't be over uh, if you game over or something, because you got a password, you can just jump right back in. <laughs> this FAQ is not totally complete. I could have listed the locations of the chest, but I didn't want to ruin it for you. Well, that's good. I always hate it when FAQs answer all of my frequently asked questions. <laughs> I didn't want to spoil the fun of knowledge gained. I'm going to see if I can't find out anything at all about this. Uh, it's not listing the power-ups. That Mickey hat was invincibility. Use water or gas balloons to Mickey's advantage. I feel like I've played this one before at one point. The Wikipedia oh. has more information than the FAQ. Alright, I got some data. Uh, this is water and gas balloons. They do the same amount of damage, but they work in different ways. Water can be used to cross ice or air, break bricks, hold treasure. Uh, they can be tossed at enemies. Gas balloons are crossing pits, going faster underwater. Uh, the earlier yeah, you like though, crap. Though. Holy crap. The earlier you let go of the gas, the uh, the more boost you get. From when it's completely filled. Gas balloons can be fired upwards. There are treasure chests to find. Uh, the invincibility Mickey cap is a star. The top Mario star kind of thing. There's Mickey currency, Mickey pouch, and Mickey tokens. Um, you get them an extra try if you get enough of those. So it's just... Different way to get Mario coins. Ultimately. I just got killed. I see in a Mickey Mouse. I mean Mortimer Mouse. I mean Oswald the Duck, the Bunny. Yeah. Uh, I think this. I think it was something like Oswald the Rabbit was the character that he sold to Warner or whoever <laughs> Universal and had to make a new character. So he just copy pasted the rabbit that he'd already sold and just changed the ears. And there's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> there's some history. Get out of here, Seagull. Why, what are you even doing? You're inside. Seagulls don't go inside. Seagull can do whatever the hell it wants. You have zero tries. We don't want to kill Mickey Mouse with these word tries. Be nice to the mouse. This game is uh, late 1994. Super Famicom. No American port. Wonder why. Americans would have no familiarity with Tokyo Disneyland. I almost died. <laughs> is it radically different? I mean, is it is the like this? Is this it? There's a seagulls being aggressive. I, it's not my Disney World experience, that's for sure. I mean, in, in Tokyo Disneyland, yeah, that's normal. And Americans just wouldn't understand that. I don't know who Michael Mouse is. Nice flight. Let me up! There's gonna be some really sick tech with this, I think. Do you have to get up there? I think so. Wow, you do. Hey, it's Pete. Already. Take him out. <laughs> nice strategy.
he, he's just the Donkey Kong Country boss, but much worse. Somehow, even though that may be one of the worst bosses ever. <laughs> he just throws barrel. You have out Where do you continue, though? That's a good question. This could be painful. Oh, good. Nice. Oh, that's... You love to see it. Uh, so we have a... I mean, I feel like this is a great game. If you haven't joined in yet, um, there's going to be a race next week. Uh, we'd love to have you on as a broadcast that we can watch along with some others. Just jump on into the Discord and join in that race. It's going to be this game. It's going to be on easy. It's going to be... It looks like a game that everyone will clear in a given amount of time. And I bet, ultimately, blind, this probably will take an hour unless it's really hard. Harder than we expect. But I don't think that it will be, and you'll have passwords, and... Uh, we won't allow states, especially because you'll have passwords, but it looks like you'll have quite a bit of generosity with survival here. Was that 1-1, one, one, or was that 1-1-1-2 one, 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 and 1-3? One, it just said level 1 done, so I think it's all one one world. Yeah, I think you're one-sixth of the way done with the game. I'll check the FAQ. It can tell me that at least. <laughs> he doesn't want to ruin it for you, though. <laughs> He just gives me the gist, tells me about the boat. At some point, you will encounter balloons. Now be aware of it. <laughs> but I don't want to spoil it for you. Yeah. I mean, this FAQ is very friendly and it's full of big smiley face emojis. And not only that, they've got the little nose. They're the full-blown emote with the colon, dash, smiley face parentheses. Really kind-hearted. It really makes you feel good. Uh... You are in World 2. You are once I think this game now. has a ton of potential, though, from a speedrun perspective. I have seen what the task does, and it just makes very short work of every single level by these perfect balloons. And I gotta tell you, I don't really feel like that's probably not human humanly possible. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna get 20 minutes in this one. Uh, not unless no. they get something wild to happen. Like, But from what unknown. I've seen, there's no, like, game-breaking glitches that the task is doing that's giving them that time. So, you know, mm. something like 30 minutes might be doable. Yeah, I would expect that. But I think we are going to see some really skilled number one place here. But I think everyone's going to be able to complete this game if they put the time in. And, uh, again, we're going to have races. We're going to have a race on week one. Uh... Well, week two, it's next week, and then week four, so the week before July 4th, whatever day that is, let me see here. That'll be uh, June 28th. We'll have a race at uh, around this time, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, if you want to join in. We definitely are looking for more people to join in on those. Uh, across the board, we want as much participation as we can get, but um, for the racing ones, we'd love to have new people come in. Just join the Discord and give me your Twitch and we'll tell you when to start. That's all there is to it. You've been slain. Yeah, even by if you a don't think that you wanna even if you don't think that you wanna do the um the grind to to get the world record or anything like that, mm -hmm. just participating in the race can be a lot of fun. Yep. Uh, I don't feel like this is gonna be a long game. It's it's just might be a little tricky to get down the kind of stuff you're dealing with right now. What do you have to kill to safely get through here? It seems like you have a lot of HP, and uh, people are saying, and I think I saw the password list let you skip to any individual level, meaning that the checkpoints also are probably on 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, etc. all the way through. So, your right. HP doesn't really matter too much as long as you can get through the section. And since you have so much, 8 on easy, you can tank a lot of damage. I think that's a good idea. I think this definitely needs to be on easy. Yeah, I'm playing on normal right now, which starts me with four at the beginning of each level, I think. Five. Five. Okay. Eight, five, and three. That's what you're looking at. But you know, this might also be one of those situations where it ultimately really doesn't matter what difficulty you play on, because getting hit is really never going to be the faster option. Can I get through here? 
So we're not going to, um, I mean, we're not going to put the difficulty in the, um, in the description because you can do whatever you want, but easy's okay. Easy is uh, Um, so if you were if you let the uh, gas meter run out, you will not get quite as violent a boost. Maybe that will help you get up there more easily. Yeah, I mean, I can certainly like just float up there and get in place, and then yeah. So um, the Wikipedia article of all things was saying the boost speed was based on how much gas there is when you release, meaning that if you instantly release, you're getting the violent one that you're getting. But it sounds like if you're half done, it will give you way less of one. Right. Yeah, it doesn't give you the distance if you're if you let it mostly run out. Yeah, this game actually is uh, reminding me of Rocket Knight Adventures or Sparkster in some ways. Except for that game, it uses this method of movement as an attack, and this is obviously not the case for this one. You're kind of defenseless when you're floating around. That's a big change, I think. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot I could be doing to be more conservative. My, my speedrunner brain won't turn off, so. <laughs> this is probably one of those games that if I were just to take it a lot slower, I could probably, um, I could probably get through this 100% consistently. It doesn't look too bad. We'll see if I can hit the ground and... There we go. Okay, so that money is just... coins. For, uh, for more lives, which show it's not going to be a factor. But if you can find an invulnerability cap, that exists. I don't think we've seen I that I just yet. got one. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've gotten two of them already didn't change anything for the music or anything. Mm -mm. Nope. There's no music <laughs> change, I just flash. I didn't even Which notice. I don't, I don't even know if you're able to see the flashing. I don't know if I'm streaming at 60 FPS. Yeah, I don't think I did. Uh, so, it's in there and author grabbed one. That's probably uh, a good idea. Sometime. It depends on if you're damage boosting or not, if you're hurt. When do you get healed? Um, you can find heals in chests, and I think when you start a new room, you get healed. We don't have an asterisk problem this time. <laughs> nice. Have you ever played the Donald Duck Quackshot game? Yeah, I love Quackshot. I feel like I've seen either you or Sky speed on that. Whatever um... Misremembering. I've I've, uh, I've done a race of it a long time ago. Okay, I have my number. That's a really fun move. What's that? Diagonal slam. Hit yeah, hitting the ground with the balloon, and then... Where am I trying to go? I'll leave the FAQ oh. open. It, it has something for me. I'm gonna read to you where to go. We're on 2-1? Yeah. Oh, the FAQ wouldn't want to spoil it for me. It says quite a few of the treasure chests are fake. That's all you get. Have a good journey <laughs> with your fake box land. There's like a visual difference between uh, the mimic chest and the regular chest, and I just I haven't gotten good enough at recognizing them without having two of them sitting next to each other. It is easily the worst FAQ I've ever seen. <laughs> I've never seen one quite so incompetent. It's just telling me what's going on. I couldn't even find the basics of the game items or anything. It's nothing. It's got a password list, you know, so that's helpful. If he just made an FAQ that was like, here's the passwords, it would be 100% on, but since it's just a general FAQ, it's pretty... Okay, loud. so there's chests in there. Where am I supposed to go? 
Oh, to the right. I was supposed to go to the right the whole time. Got nice. It. Well, no one else will have that trouble now that you've done it for us. Be prepared to jump off the second cart when you see the red exclamation point signs. That's my tip for your rail cart journey. <laughs> you have to I be, will not say that that went well. You have to be watching for that floor. So we have a turbo tunnel, Mickey Mouse section. <laughs> this doesn't look too bad though, you just gotta duck every once in a blue moon. I think for this yep. you're gonna end up counting the rails, like, in your head. You're just gonna know when the buzzards come in. Probably, yeah. Oh, I could have caught back up to it if I... It doesn't go that far. You can, ca you can catch back up to it if you get knocked off, so it's not... It's not death. This, um, by the way, I just wanna, I just wanna point out to people, because we've had some issues with mashing in previous games, this is not, um, asking me to mash at all. The faster I hit it, nothing happens. How did that one get you? Oh my. I think uh, Mickey Mouse could use a, a lesson on how cameras are supposed to work in video games. <laughs> that part was a bit rough. Well, this is where you're going to see an exclamation point and you need to jump off. Sounds like, uh... Sounds pretty... Yeah. Mm. Sounds pretty unfair. Not like that! That was wrong! You, you did it! Nice, nice jump. Nice... Jump. You made it. I've always been I've always been so fascinated by um, Disney games um, because on on uh, the Super Nintendo because there's like eight buttons on the face of the SNES controller and they always use like two of them and they're like yeah that's good enough like you could you could have <laughs> camera controls but they're like nah no one's gonna use that. There's, um, rocks up there. I feel like you could play this game with, um, an Atari joystick with the one button on top. <laughs> ah! No! I did- I, Lousy. I did not- I did not plan for that correctly. Hey. Do you know if there's a limited number of continues? I mean, with a password, then it doesn't really matter, but... I don't have that information. <laughs> I have no idea. My score. My kingdom for a score. I wonder how many times this guy misspells the word balloon. I'm checking. The word Balan is in here seven times. <laughs> Balan. The word balloon is in there thirty-two times. So you know they hit they hit most of them. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Though you, you, people will probably just be counting the rails. That would be a really easy way to know where the bad ones are. Is there any pattern to the birds themselves? Yeah, yeah, you can just memorize the pattern. It's not random at all. I'm getting the same pattern every time. So as hard as the stages, like all rail car stages, once you know what to do, this is why rail car stages are bad. <laughs> it's just if you what know if it's what... faster to take the rail cart or if it's faster just to like balloon across this. Hmm. He didn't say anything about more exclamation points, I think that's it. That probably annoyed the FAQ writer enough that they actually made a note about it. Could've warned you about them ribs! <laughs> he didn't want to spoil it for us, you know? I enjoyed it. It was a pleasure to see. Oh, Alright, it's barrel time. You 
can jump on some of the barrels in this level to go for a ride. I love going for a ride. Use a gas balloon at the first opening in the ceiling you see to get a chest. If you travel above this chest and disappear, you will be transported back to the beginning of the section and the chest will be reset. You can now get the chest as many times as you want. What's in the chest? That's so good. Help. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, uh, that just reset the whole room. Yeah. Going off the top of the screen, that was bad. It doesn't kill you, I guess, so you can just collect balloons. If you want to. I don't think we'll be doing that, but I guess you could. Is eight your cap? Uh, do you, are you able to get more than these to start you with? Okay, so this strat is bad. Um, among different types of strats there are in the world, this is one of the ones we would describe as bad. Yeah. You got the balloons? You got hit while you were getting it, so you made no gain? Oh shit, the word balloon is in there as well. Three times. Three L's on balloon and no... Amazing. What a good guy. Uh, I'm looking up uh, World 2. What are you here. supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> to get past the first gust of air, use a gas balloon and rise up just under the left ledge as close as you can get to the gust. Shoot yourself down to the right, and you will drop on the platform to the right of the gust. It might take several tries. I died. You still Don't want to spoil the fun. You lost the try. I was viciously murdered by you spikes. Gave it a shot. <laughs> Big D is not going to silence me, okay? If I died, I died. I gotta tell you, Pete's on the box art, he looks pretty friendly. I don't really buy that he kidnapped all these friends here. He looks like he's on your side. Hey, you did it. Nice. That's not so bad. If he was making that sound like it was impossibly hard, it's just... Huh. Oh, there's a pit. I found the pit. <laughs> Be prepared to jump off the second rolling barrow after you cross the third rail of spikes. Thanks for letting me know. There's uh, there's another gust of wind that's troublesome coming up. Cannot wait. I wonder if Disney... The water balloon down here? Yeah, that definitely... It's not right. What if I... Boost from over here? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that Ooh. didn't work. That's a really wonderful gust. I'm really happy that it resets your entire stage progress. In a really clever and good way. That was pretty clean. That was a pretty good way to do it. These bats are out during, like, noon. Because <laughs> I think bats do a lot. They have a good time flying around in the midday. Hey, there's spikes. Neat. Yeah, it's gonna be all balloon in the speedrun for sure. I mean, yeah, you're, you're gonna be not walking pretty much ever in the speedrun. We knew that going in. <laughs> uh, so there's a second gust of air coming up. Kneel at the left edge and set water balloons in the air as if it were the ground, and they will stay put. Step on oh. the first balloon, kneel, and place another. Keep doing this until you cross the pit. Does that send you all the what? way back to hell? Oh, we're my. going. All the way back. This. Huh. What a game. Well, at least you got plenty of help. At least I have plenty of help. Plenty of help. Plenty of help. I, I think what you know exactly how to handle the gusts. Uh, 
Shouldn't be too bad. How hard could it really be, right? There's not a whole lot going on here. It's just a really rude mechanic that we can uh, we can figure out and not have to ever deal with again. This music is maddening. All right, here we go. So use gas balloons to make yourself a bridge. Oh, we're just okay. It's expiring this, on you. This sucks. I wonder if there's a better way. This is gonna need to be searched. Does the task do it this way? That's. I mean, that's the easiest way to find out, isn't it? I'm gonna check. No, I deserve to live. <laughs> Survive, Mickey! Mickey! Son of a bitch. Do what you were born to do, Mickey. Okay, well, I live here now. I watch. I, I clicked uh, on the task and I immediately found the right place. He has three balloons down and then he jets over and just barely, just barely makes it under. So, I would say a human should do four at least. Hey, this works! Nice! Nice work! How are you gonna get down? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's not working for me. <laughs> All right, good, great. Ban this. But task this time, works. this time will be different. This task is crazy good. I have a good time watching it. Looking forward to seeing anyone get anywhere near these kind of balloon strats going on. Because uh, once you get flowing, you can really. You can just land and drop another blast right away, just over and over again. You can always be cruising. This game owns. I appreciate that Mickey's design in general is just that he has two orbs on his head. They're supposed to be ears, but I mean, when you look at them too closely, they don't... <laughs> it doesn't really work out. I think you can jet, jet from here. Yeah, nice. Okay, four is safe, I think, and three is possible. <laughs> it's technically doable. Uh, a human should try and do four, probably, unless they're really good at it. Let me see if there's anything else. Let's try not to get... There is one more gust, I think. And surely it will also send you to the end of the stage again. Um, Be prepared to jump off the third barrel right before some large spikes. To get across the us here, uh... Use the water balloon as a trampoline to break open... Sorry, water balloon as a trampoline to break open the rocks blocking your way. Oh cool, that's stupid. You have to hit it with more force so that you get a concussion. Yeah, I think hitting it with the balloon jet should have been the... Like the maximum possible, right? Is this possible? Can you go upwards faster by doing this? Goofiness? It seems like oh. it, yes. It seems like yes. But it, it's got weird timing on it. I love dropping a tennis ball and a basketball. When I was a kid, that was crazy shit. I did that all the time. Showed it to other people, learned physics and showed it to them like I was just like a scientist. Five year old, I was really excited. I remember. It's like one of those memories that sticks with you. This is not a particularly fast way to climb. I don't think this is ideal. I think, I think really what you want to do is this. Use the ledge? Yeah. I have a memory from my childhood of uh, an exchange student that uh, came to live with us for a year, and I remember showing her, um, do you know those little helicopter seed things? Uh, yeah. I showed her one of those, and I'm like, check this out! I was really excited about it, I was like 10. <laughs> you guys don't have these! They probably do though, actually. But she pretended to be excited about it, and that's what matters. I warned you about the spikes! There was no way for me to know. 
guess. There wasn't any signs with the uh, exclamation points to <laughs> really clarify. Are you back at the start again? Is that where you are? I am. I'm back at the start of this room, yeah. It's a very long stage. Yeah, it really is. I'm being punished for my hubris. We get a remix of the song, maybe? <laughs> Well, you'll be happy to know that's pretty much the end. After that jump, you're pretty much there. Unless this FEQ just left out some fine details. But how could that be? <laughs> how would that have happened? Mickey murders a man and just calls out 100 points. 100 Disney bucks. I life. gotta tell you, I have a very limited set of verbs in this game, but I don't know if there's a long enough timeline uh, in which I would have eventually landed on this as the way to get across that gap. <laughs> like, mean... left to my own devices, I think you'd be surprised to find how long it would have taken me to solve that one. Well, jumping on a trampoline to get out of this probably would have taken me a hot minute. <laughs> See, this is the kind of problem I'm having with Lon Lana. I don't know what to do with these, these gas balloons that you have in that game. If only we could solve the mystery of what to do with the gas balloons. Balloons are strong. Is this last barrel even worth jumping on? Is super dangerous looking. Probably. I mean, it's a long distance and it does make you travel somewhat fast. You probably travel faster with some well-timed uh, balloons, though. What is this ridiculous trap? What is it here for? I hate it. How are you even supposed to? You should be coming up to a gust that will take you to the end soon. Do I go up or do I go across? It's it says a, up. It's, up. it's a good gust. It's a friendly gust for the first time. <laughs> and then it takes me all the way to the left. If only I could have voiced it. If, there was, if that was the way it was, I would have absolutely gone for it. Boss fight. Hmm. So Pete's just sitting in a train throwing coal at you. That's Okay, so these these clouds up here seem like they hurt me, maybe. Like I can't He's got a he's got a gun. Um you just get in his face and throw balloons right at him. You can keep him from firing if you get right in his face on the left. Looks like. Looks like you can stun lock him if you're perfect. You jump and on the way down you claw room. Hmm, okay. That's what to do, I think. Uh, that's TAS information, that's not the game FAQ, that's uh, that's the real stuff. Oh, you can stand in this window. Oh, but you get hurt a little bit by doing it? Yeah, I don't think you want to do that. Um, optimally, I mean, what the task does is just jumps in front and slams. And I think this is something a human can reproduce consistently. He will try and throw coal when you're close and shoot his water gun when you're far away. Okay. Avoid attacks. So you just passively take damage if you're there. The game FAQ recommends Turbo. <laughs> to spam weak water balloons, but uh, absolutely charging them up does more damage, I'm pretty sure. And, I mean, the task does this, so if Turbo was useful here, the task would be spamming it too, right? They certainly would have the ability to just plot them. You're doing pretty much what you do, yeah. Full charge balloon, hit him in the chest with jumps. Also, the game FAQ absolutely lied about the gun, so there's that. I can't believe the game FAQ 
creator would lie. Just fall. I mean, how could you play him for that long a period of time as it takes to kill him and not see the gun show up? He just wasn't paying attention. Hey, nice work. The guide has gone from not providing information to providing lies. Hey, it's a better character than Mickey Mouse. Look at that guy. I would have let the cutscene play, but I can't read any of it. Can we get a? I assume I assume Donald is being ornery. I mean, that's sort of the brand. I use my phone to translate it. I'll go back and get the vod. <laughs> well, I didn't let it play for long enough. Damn. Let the next one play, I'll use my phone, I'll translate that sucker live with Google Translate. It'll be perfect. I just feel bad for these guys because when I hit them with water balloons, they become naked and die. <laughs> like, I don't- I personally do not want to die naked. Man, he stepped on it. He didn't die naked, he's in his underwear, he's fine. I'm not sure the distinction there is as meaningful as you think it is. That's not naked, that's like MMO naked. It's fine. They're alright. Yeah, he lost all of his gear. Well that sucks. You hate to see that happen. Yeah, what's the water meter about? Is that air? Yeah, that's that's uh, a, a breathing. Great. Mickey is uh, a mouse and does need oxygen. Oh, that hurts! And also, this is a dead end. Oh. Just with treasure. Retroarch has an auto translator. Neat. I've seen a couple of those before. Um, it's not too hard to get to working these days on uh, various things. But I've, it is, you know, a Google translation, so it's not perfect. But if you're just looking for, like, the rough idea of what's being said, uh, automatic translations work pretty well. You you hit the pit. Is that good? I guess it is. It is if you want loot. It's just treasure here. Some more treasure. There's um also a slightly obnoxious cooldown, uh, not cooldown, um, sort of delay whenever you hit let go of the button to use the balloon. So like if I charge it up like this, and then I want to finally let it rip, I have to let go of the button, but it doesn't do it for like another, I don't know, half a second. Um, so that takes that takes some calibration if you want to do really precise moves, I think. Is it because of the animation? He's I saw he was using a needle on it. Maybe that's why it's delayed. Uh maybe. Maybe that's what it is. That's a that's the kind of game you expect that in is a Disney game with lots of art. Um hardly ever does a game with heavy art manage to make the animations look nice while giving you good gameplay. Cuphead is like one of the better ones with really good art, and it still is, you know, walking that line. A lot of the bosses are still a little unfair because their animations are more important. What is this shield frog, this bulwark frog? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Who is this guy? What is this Disney name? Mortimer. Mortimer Toad. Oh, it's something like Francis Frog, I bet. I'm looking up Disney frogs. Is this doing damage? I'm not getting, like, feedback visually. And Disney games do tend to be pretty good about visual feedback when you're doing damage. It ain't J. Thaddeus Toad? <laughs> is it Croaky Frog Green? Well, who the fuck is that? JoJo's Circus character. I see. Okay, I'll give you help after I'm done looking up frog names. Robin the Frog. That ain't him.
Sir Yips a lot. It's a dog. That? He just like completely changed the way he was jumping. I'm looking uh see if I can find anything. I don't I don't have I any love information. Frogs, on this and I want this one to die. <laughs> I saw some really tiny frogs uh at the pool I was at the other day, my, my parents' pool. Very tiny frogs, like insect-sized frogs. They look like beetles, but if you look close, it's a frog. It whips ass. I love that they're that tiny. They are as tiny as a fingernail. They whip ass. I love taking them to safety, making sure they survive. Their frog life needs to be lived. Oh, oh, I bet I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I figured it out. I'm sorry. It's taken me a long time. I want y'all to know that I did figure it out. The water balloon spikes. Bounce. Your land mines. Yeah you're, yeah, you're supposed to make him land on a water balloon. This is pretty neat, actually. I like this uh, mini boss idea. Uh, bad news: this does not count as a stage. He's just in the way of three one. He's three one's ending. You're still on three one until he's dead. I was thinking Boy. maybe he knocked out a level for you, but no, he is his own. So world three actually has four sections. If you count this guy. Yeah, how is this frog compared to Hyper 6? Uh, better. <laughs> but I mean, that's not saying much, that's not fair. <laughs> what do you mean? That's... I'm gonna use that every time I get in, in a bad way. Slam my hand in the door. Ah, it's not Hyper 6. It's, it's no Hyper 6. Hey, dinosaurs. Alligators. What is it? Oh, see. there's bees. Y'all, there's bees. There's bees. Don't hit the beehives or swarms of angry bees. That's the entirety of your advice for this stage. Don't hit the bees. Leave the bees alone. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. That's a lot of bees. They are pissed. All right. Three balloons from that hill? Yeah, I got quite a few. Pretty steep. I mean, that's a full hill on hard mode. Nice bit rate killer jump that was there. Whoops. <laughs> oh my. I would. Well, things aren't looking good for the home team. I would hope that this stage isn't too long since the advice is just dodge bees. <laughs> I guess it's straightforward though. There's no gusts of wind that you have to work out a puzzle answer to solve. I appreciate uh, that video games have so much variety on something as simple as movement. And this is dramatically different from anything I've ever played. <laughs> Just here's this balloon, it's better than walking, but it don't make no sense. You pop a balloon to move. I died there. That was interesting. Is that an instant kill? Don't let the fisherman knock you out of the boat is the advice here. You need the boat, it seems like. I'm not sure. Let me check the task. The, the FAQ certainly uses the boat. But I bet you don't need it. You don't. Also, this is a very short thing. It's like 10 seconds, this whole stage, if you, uh, you task it, anyway. I'm counting the number of balloons needed to, uh... Man, he is cruising this... this you should, everybody should watch the TAS after this. The TAS is really solid. 
Uh, he's jumping off of the spikes and not taking damage, I think, with the balloon spam. Just doing an amazing job. And section 3 also, just... In the time I started talking about the tasks, he had done all of this world. Super powerful. Oh no, I have to do this room again, too? You hate to see it. I think that the chests are not random. I don't think there's RNG in this. Uh, the only thing that's gonna be changed from playthrough to playthrough based on anything is the enemies shooting at you. If, if they are shooting at you, and that's controllable too. I don't think there's any RNG of this at all. Maybe the boss that was uh, using his water gun, maybe that's random. I guess. I'm not sure. But it's not gonna change your gameplay. It's not gonna change your uh, speedrun, you're still gonna go, you're just gonna take the hit. Uh, this stage isn't very long, you're actually done, yeah. <laughs> Whoops, 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 whoops. Now you'll pay the B, B price. <laughs> That's what you get. May. Well, at least you're locked in here. Uh, yeah, I, I think I wouldn't have complained as a kid to play this game, honestly. 1994, though, getting a bit late into the uh, cycle of uh, bad cameras and stuff should be gone by now. I think this camera's mostly good until you're using the balloon and it's a little slow for what it's trying to do. It doesn't keep up very well. And it certainly isn't good on those rail stages. off all the bees. I'm not trying to, I gotta be honest with you. They just seem mad in general, and that doesn't seem like that's my fault. You get hit by the torch? Apparently. Apparently! Alright. <laughs> Man, that sucks. This is a really tight stage. And the platform just leaves you. If you get hit by one of the torches, you get knocked out, and it just goes. So most of this is 3-3. You're still on 3-3. Uh, this is connected to the level you just finished. Duck to avoid the fisherman. He'll knock you out of the boat. Duck to avoid the beehives. In the third section, jump over the candles and jump out of the boat entirely. Be prepared for that. Use a gas balloon to shoot yourself over the pit. Oh, thanks for telling me about the pit. There's a pit. I appreciate you letting me know. How's the game? It's feel good. Yeah, I like it. You're half it's got done. Some, it, it's got some elements of it that are a little sluggish, but it plays really well in general. You've seen half the content after this boss, so I think you got a good take on it at this point. It looks solid. I mean, it looks beautiful. I love this, this kind of art, uh, pixel art, um, retro, but really, it's not. I mean, calling it pixel art is kind of misleading because I mean, it is, but. It's just so damn well done that you can barely tell. That's mean! How is that even fair, game? Uh, alright. We're doing the 2020 Disney Fix Your Game Challenge. This is gonna be a... Uh... Interesting set of stages right here. These ones are very tightly maneuvered. Hey, there's a pit. Yeah, yeah, thanks. This time. There's a pit! What's in the background? Is it a big heart? Yeah, it's the heart of the ocean. Man.
I can't do anything here. This is just a cutscene. Hey, I've ridden this ride at Whoop's house. I love Tokyo Disneyland, especially oh. all of the briar patches. <laughs> That's my favorite part when I lose my arms to plants at the end. Everyone loves the briar patch. Do you want to try and figure this one out on you? Do I need to, like, bounce them? Oh, found some boys. It is extremely possible to jet, and then before you lose height, jet again with that balloon. Uh, the task is doing it. It seems really hard, but it is possible to get some SMW sort of flight going on where you do not fall. Uh, you maybe fall just a little bit, but you can keep that maintained. So the task, of course, is just non-stop floating across the world here. Is this level just what I think it is? Is it just like a survive? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, they do give you hearts, so... Yeah, occasionally, do? and they fall straight down. I don't think this is random. Yeah, I think you might be right. I think you do want to kill the skaters as soon as possible. I think that does affect when the next wave starts. You don't want to leave them up. You want to take them out right away. I bet you could just, like, leave a... Um, balloon on the ground to kill them instantly. I'm gonna go ahead and make a post on this game for the main page. It's gonna be four weeks starting today and easy mode is okay. You can play on any mode you want, but there's no reason on earth not to play on easy. Pete has once again owned himself. Mickey cares not for this dead man. I'm prepared to translate. Alright, I'm good. That's the halfway point. You've now seen half of the game. The movement in this game looks sick, though. Um, watch the tasks. Level 3 bonus. Uh, so, passwords are just four digits. They're really easy, too. So, if you want to practice a stage and you don't feel like making states, they're all there. Uh, I think the passwords are difficulty-specific. Yeah, I would kind of expect them to be. Man, you should check out the next level, though. It looks badass. Uh, I will I, not play it, though. Yeah, that's fine. I, I just enjoy Haunted House stuff. That's where we're heading. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Well, I'll go ahead and make that post. Discord. Oh, that's a cool effect. Oh, man, yeah. I, I definitely like the way this looks. This is going to be my favorite stage, undoubtedly. Uh, so, discord.gg.smite is where the speed bump room is. I recommend you heading there if you're joining us for the first time. And we are doing a race next week, so you have some time to practice. Uh, I don't expect anyone will be an expert at this by then, but um, we'll see. We usually get a pretty good run by then. There's no world record yet that we know of, but we'll probably have one for you next week. A uh, Probably a pretty solid one. Looking forward to it. Yeah, let's see what we get. Thanks for joining me out the blues and playing the mouse. House. The house of mouse. I'll see you next week, folks. I will be on later playing Monster Train because I gotta finish that. Uh, well, I gotta unlock it all and then play it a million more times. But, you know. I'm gonna host this guy doing Binding of Isaac, Eden Hard Mode Streaks, 628 0. I think he's got it. See you later, everybody.